Some things have been delayed slightly with the shipping process. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, that's a pain in the ass. A lot has been happening in the last month. We've been hiring a lot of people and we've been starting a lot of different projects. So container one to four is finished. Has been finished for about a month now. We're still getting some details together in terms of uh, shipping it. Some things have been delayed slightly with the shipping process, but in the meantime, we've been improving and refining all sorts of things like our internal ERM system, the packing methods, the actual designs always moving forward. So whenever you have a bit of spare time or some time gets created because of delays in a project, it's a great time to just make improvements and that's what we're doing. But right now we are getting ready for the shipments to be completed by the end of December. So they're gonna go, so we're gonna be starting the installations hopefully around mid-February. So that's when the first shots are gonna be happening where the rolling circuit is gonna be full swing in, in Senegal. Very much looking forward to that part. We start a new project here, which is the development of a yeah, new type of battery. Ho, ho, ho! I've got you some gifts, nerds! <laughs> Thanks, Mark. That's exactly how you want it to be, <laughs> nerds. At this point in time, we just have quite a lot of stock here. Hundreds and hundreds of solar panels by now. Hundreds of batteries, hundreds of pieces of fence. The solar panels and everything has been divided into individual sections, which are gonna be loaded up into the containers relevant to where the final destinations are. And it goes for the steel, it goes for, I mean, down to the very last screw. And in the process, we're also creating a, an ERM system where we're going to be managing literally down to the last screw of the entire production process. It's, it's a very complicated project to be putting together. Um, includes finance, accounting, human resources, payroll, stock procurement, manufacturing, and the website. Quite a big project. In fact, we could just go and have a look in the room right now where we're doing a bit of um, spider diagrams. And we're setting up a, a complex system where we can manage the entire flow of um, yeah, well, basically from cradle to grave. So this would mean, um, yeah, how nuts and bolts are going in, how technical drawings are being made, how solar data is coming together, how clients, customer service, sales, invoice, and even human resources, like who's building what and so on. So the whole thing is coming in under one system, one software package. Damien and uh, Rania have been going around the company for the last month speaking with everybody, trying to find out from the electricians, from the people in welding, from the people in software, and so on, what is actually taking place, and then putting that into inventory on the database and making sure that everything is uh, logged and input accordingly. And this also reflects on the website that we're launching. The website is going to have inventory management synchronized with, uh, with our uh, order and stock management system. Meanwhile in Senegal, Bekai has started overseeing the transformation of the sandy back garden full of mango trees into the functional yard space that we will need to deliver this project. The plan for the yard is for us to be able to take delivery of the containers and machinery when they arrive from Europe, as well as having an outdoor workspace. We will start by knocking down the wall in constructing an 8 meter wide road made of laterite. Containers can be parked on either side of this road, which also serve as the company bullet drone for Batank competitions. An 8 meter long gate on rollers will close the gap in the wall, allowing plenty of space for lorries to reverse onto the site to deliver and collect the containers. A permanent wall to separate our yard from the next school will replace the broken chain link fence currently in place. We will then have an outdoor covered working area for initially assembling the sleeping container, but in future this will be used for ongoing maintenance of parts and machinery. North of this will be a small wooded area to relax and eventually clean out the well, which will help keep down our watering costs when we replace the trees that will inevitably need to be removed. 
The big empty rooms in the building will eventually be made into offices, showrooms and storage but we are first extending the staircase in order to get access to the roof, where we will be installing solar panels and related solar products to minimize our reliance on the local power grid. These mango trees have been planted over 14 years ago and watered daily for their first few years until established, so it was particularly painful having to cut them down. We thought about digging them up and moving them, but they were considered too mature for this to have much success, so we will eventually replace these with trees planted on the sides of the yard. The chain link fence was replaced with a two meter high solid block wall to keep out the children from the school on the other side. Rubble from the yard and the knockdown walls was put down as a foundation and then an edging curb was built up on the sides of the road. After that, we were ready for the laterite, which is a mix between soil and rock that is found in many parts of Senegal. It is widely used for many rural roads as this can be compacted into a solid base. Its red color is due to its high iron oxide content. We are using this as a cheaper alternative to concrete, which costs four times as much, and this surface will help keep the yard a lot cooler than concrete would. We found a local metal worker to build our eight meter long gate, and we are putting this on rails to give maximum maneuverability space for trucks delivering and collecting the containers from the site. The building itself was originally built to house separate shops and offices, with a total of six identical sized rooms over three floors. The work on extending the staircase to give us roof access has started, but the windows in the stairwell have been removed in order to minimize breakages from falling concrete when they were opening up the hole to the roof. In the next week's episode, we will be packing up our first four solar containers and shipping them off to Senegal. Be sure to subscribe to our Off-Grid Europe YouTube channel for further developments.